Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning. It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are doing great. So I woke up this morning with some really intense, uh, you know, sexual energies coming through from the masculine side. And the song I channeled was Girls All Around the World. Um, and I don't know if you guys know that one, but um, the part of the song that got to me was, um, you know, he says, you're on my, you're on my mind, just like my favorite song just want to turn you on and rock you all night long. And I was singing the song, singing the song, getting into it. And then I stopped and the part of the song that really got me was um, just want to turn you on. So the vibe that I'm getting is that your masculine is thinking about you in a really heavy, intense, passionate way. It's almost like this yearning and this longing, which is why some of you guys might be waking up this morning feeling this kind of energy as well. And it feels like you're very anxious, like, you know, when you get like uh, excited feelings in the stomach and you might not know where it's coming from, but it's reflecting in the feminine as like the masculine's longing for her. So you're feeling up your, I mean, sorry, you're feeling up, you're waking up, uh -uh. <clears throat> feeling very uh, intense, you're feeling very fiery, very passionate, you're feeling this kind of burst of energy within you. Um... And I really do sense that it's uh, it's it's the it's the wanting of the <laughs> seven one seven energy, the coming together, the physical manifestation of the twin flame connection. So I just wanted to guide you guys along <laughs> this energy using the Toro of sexual magic. And I do hope that the reading resonates for you guys. If you would like to join me for a personal session, you can hit me up at wizio.com and we can connect one on one. But without further ado, let's get into the cards to confirm this energy, okay? Oh, okay, perfect. So we've got three coming up. Okay, yeah, so they're all very, very passionate cards. I'm going to start off with the Knight of Chalices because I feel like that's a very action-oriented card in terms of, you know, claiming your emotions and... The image I get is that, like, he's been around his family and friends. I mean, last night was Friday night, so I'm not sure if he was, like, out drinking or feeling, like, you know, that vibe of just letting loose or, you know, being a little bit tipsy or whatever, but it's, like, distracted completely in front of his family and friends and in this fantasy world of coming towards his twin flame. And I love that she's sitting on the water because it's almost like she's sitting on his emotions, like she's sitting on his mind, heavy on his heart at this time. And it's like prompting him to take action in terms of communication because I feel like this energy that's coming up and the reason the feminine is feeling it so intensely um, is because the masculine is realizing like at this point I can't really go anywhere with all of this energy that I feel like I, I he wants to release he wants to express it even if it's just through like a phone conversation or texting and like flirting like that's how powerful the connection is with the feminine it's like that's all it takes to kind of recharge them at this time and that's what I feel like he really wants to be recharged by her love <laughs> kind of like romp around with her and get really tired whether that's through communication or not because a lot of you will find too that even when you communicate with your masculine over like text message or whatever the case is like you got, you both feel very tired, but in a very good way. Like you feel very well rested the next morning. And that's because the charge, the electric charge when it comes to emotions and um, especially sexuality, like even if you have like a masculine that's a water sign, it's very, very passionate along with that intensity um, when it comes to sexual chemistry between you two, okay? And that completely explains to me the longing for her. It's like this yearning to be with her, not only sexually, but like in this way as well, where it's like the three flames coming together I mean some of you might even sense that he wants to kind of like have that third energy with you where it's like creating a family or creating something together but um the ace of pentacles definitely means that it's you know the, a wonderful beginning of taking action in the physical and um like I do sense communication coming from many 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 of you and that's where this energy is coming from this morning so it's almost like a heads up or a preparation um for you guys because I have the peacock energy here as well coming out from the last reading again the peacock does a very beautiful mating dance to attract its mate. I have the Ace of Chalices coming out here as well. So we've got the Knight followed by the One of Chalices. So, you know, a lot of Cups energy, like he's basically trying to say like, this is what he's thinking about day in, day out. It's just like this connection with her. Like you're entirely what fills his cup in that area. So the, last night, he was very, very distracted thinking about you, almost like dazed, like just not into his surroundings, um, but feeling really, really good as well. I hear Mega meowing here, <laughs> dying to jump up on the table. Um, all right, love. 
I just have to get a chair for her guys because I'm actually standing doing this reading. That's to tell you how intense the energy is. But um, yeah, like this is exactly like what's on his mind is like connecting with her in this way. And that's all he can think about. And I feel that he's had like a break, you know, Friday night. Maybe he has tomorrow off and it's just kind of like, let me just relax into what I really want to do right now, which is just deeply, deeply think about the connection that I have to my feminine. Um, I'm going to get some more here from the Tarot of Sexual Magic because I really feel like it's the beginning of this cycle again between you two where it's going to get really passionate again. Like, um, you know, the communication is going to come in heavy. So we have the Knave of Pentacles. So I feel like some of the feminines are a little bit hesitant right now. And it's like that anxious feeling is coming from, you know what, even if the cycle is coming in again, like I need to kind of um, be mindful here because you don't necessarily want to be taken over by it. And that's what it's doing to you feminines this morning. And this is what it was doing to him last night, you know. And um, I feel like right now the Knave and the nave energy sorry is coming up because there's a lot going on in the physical world i'll just leave this card here for you guys to kind of observe it here but um you know there's there's a lot going on here that the divine masculines are you know heavily thinking about her like you can see in this picture he's almost like it's very suggestive like he's wanting her to drink the cup you could see it overflowing um <laughs> overflowing here even like her finger being burned by the flame so it's like what I get is the feminine knows at the end of the day like what this connection means to her even if you guys are at the start or at the beginning of another cycle here of reconnecting again so you know love burns like it does the the, the passion between you two burns it's it reminds me of the um I'm not sure which specific card in here, but the description is, um, you know, the passion between you two is like walking on hot coals. Um, you know, there's no fire, but you can feel it burning you. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, um, I just, I really feel a, a very strong, passionate uh, start here to communication between you two. So I honestly, guys, I'm just going to end it there because, you know, yeah. okay, well, let's not ignore the six of swords here. So breaking free too, as well from this kind of like fearful energy of being overtaken by this love because this love is meant to overtake you guys and you guys are meant to trust it. The six talks about us, you know, kind of compromising with our thoughts here a little bit. Um, you can see a little bit of water in this image as well, but what I recognize most of all is like the chains in her neck. It's almost like he's constantly this reminder of asking her to break free from like the restrictions that she has around connecting with him physically because I get the sense that like many of you are in situations where your masculines deeply you want to physically connect but there's a lot of fears around that for the feminines because you guys have done a lot of growth I sense that many of you are very reserved when it comes to your sexuality as well and um, you've done a lot of work around that as well there's been many realizations um, and there's this feeling of needing to have that safety around connecting with your masculine intimately and he is you know seeing this for what it is a lot like with all of that chalice energy there and then I feel like the swords energy is coming up and the pentacles because it's almost like a sign for the feminine in the physical world to like really get prepared for what's about to come your way because when communication does come around it's actually going to be surrounded um around you guys talking about meeting up and like being intimate or sexual in some way and you know I don't want you guys to kind of like get into these energies of panicking like that she's breaking free from trying to think like this where it's like she's just going to be taken advantage of or it's going to go through another period of um wreaking havoc on both of your lives but I mean this is the emotional journey that we're on we are ascending and again we are not given anything that we can't handle um, you guys make your decisions based off of discernment and really feel out the energies before you you know again give in but uh, a lot is being uh, brought up in terms of what the masculines are trying to say about uh, coming forward and connecting it's almost like are you ready are you ready for it <laughs> all right guys I hope this short reading finds you well um, I hope to follow up I guess with a letter from the divine masculines uh, regarding this energy a little bit more and uh, maybe the messages in there might resonate for some of you even deeply or even more deeply um, but yeah, I love you guys and I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, I will catch up with you guys again soon uh, with that letter. Okay, take care and uh, again, reach me at wizio.com if you need to connect and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.